I'm so annoyed because I got the dates wrong on the fucking vlog for yesterday. Just so you know, it wasn't that many days. It was two days, but for some reason I put like, I don't know, I, I got the dates wrong, basically. <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. Anyways, I'm doing thumb- ah, shit. I'm doing thumbnails for Purgatory. This was from like a previous sketchbook that I had that my dog pissed on. I don't know. So I took it <laughs> out of that sketchbook. Um... And then I was started to draw this on loose leaf paper, and then I was like, oh yeah, I, I bought a, like a moleskin, which actually is more convenient for thumbnails, so I'm gonna do the rest of the thumbnails in here, but like, you can see all my garbage art. Um, lately, more and more, I really don't like showing my sketches. I know this is like me being like sensitive baby, but I know that my sketches are flawed. I literally see the flaws in my sketches, but like, it's... <sighs> It's a sketch, you know what I mean? I know that's like a lame excuse and like I should have perfect artwork all the time, but like, I don't know. But I was, dr I, this was when um the Steven Universe, uh, uh, was it the finale aired and um, Rainbow Quartz 2.0 aired. By the way, I know that there's a lot of like skepticism about Rainbow Quartz. I'm fairly certain that they are a they, like all of the gem fusions. I don't think it's a he voice. Uh, I, I mean, I don't think it's a male. Um, God, I shouldn't say it's. I don't think they're a male. <laughs> I think the fusion is just like all the other fusions where they're a they pronoun. But anyway, I, I do think it's weird that they chose a male voice actor, which is like not, not usual. But anyways, when I was sketching these, the point of me talking about this was the double eyes are very like frustrating to me like <laughs> they were like really pissing me off when I was sketching these I was like ah fuck this um but yeah I was I was sketching that from when I was in the um I didn't even I hardly even people sketched like the few days ago I was just like oh I'm just gonna draw my my drink and the fate in the Starbucks lady but anyways I'm gonna put the thumbnails like in here so I don't have to like keep it. But the cool thing is is I can keep the the thumbnail, the ones that are loose like this in the back because there's a pocket. I don't know, I haven't used like a moleskin in like forever. So like, this is so weird because I am like, it's just like not natural for me to use a moleskin. It's like really weird. But I don't know, I, I wanted one that would work well with Coleraise so that's why I got it. Also look at the tiny hand, tiny hand knows all, tiny hand. All right, packaging up the rest of these rose sketchbooks. I got reminded of how much I actually really like laser engraving stuff when I was packaging these. It's one thing that I like really want eventually. It's one of the few things that I feel like if I had a laser engraver, I would actually use it. Um, it's part of the reasons why I'm not really so sad about selling my Cricut machine is because the Cricut machine didn't do what I really wanted it to do, which is, you know, cutting through really thick materials because I just love how that looks. So eventually one day what I really would like is um, to be able to get a laser engraver so I could make um, basically art prints that are made out of wood. Um, but yeah, that's it, it just reminded me of that because like these, these ones that I'm holding up right now, these are the ones that I use for the example pictures because they're the dark wood and the dark wood ones are the best looking ones. So, um, but yeah, I, I sold almost all of them aside from these, these five, but yeah, there's the stack of them right there. I'm, I'm like trying not to show too much. Well, I guess I could blur it out, but yeah, I already sent off, uh, one, um, I already sent off one batch of them. So thank you to everybody who purchased them. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put on my store now because there's like nothing on there now. I literally have jack shit for my store. Um, eventually what I'd like to do is some charms, but I also want to make sure I, I have the money for them. So we will see. But for right now, I just want to like, you know, package these boys off. So yeah. Okay. I finished all the prints. Um, so here's how they look y'all. You want to see? Here, let me like make sure it's all good aperture for you. Yes, yes, mofos. They all kind of, these are all the same ones. This one I was experimenting. I, I'm probably not going to sell more of these if I, if I buy more of the paper because this was a pain in the ass to paint for both of them. I'm trying to, I think I like the like subdued one more actually. Um, and then this, I really like this one. I especially like this area of it where there's like more of a border. 
But yeah. Um, I did the prints. I'm exporting a video right now, and I'm going to be going... I'm going to be walking to the store because... Um, we don't have anything planned for dinner, and like, when we don't have anything planned for dinner, we end up usually getting fucking fast food, or we end up making a meal that I honestly don't eat, so then I'm really hungry the next morning, and I don't know, um, so I'm gonna go to the store, and I'm probably gonna buy like, uh, one of those salad, uh, like those poke bowls, I fucking love those, or pokey bowls, whatever the fuck they are, they're fucking amazing, so I will let you know if I get one, because I want one so very badly, so we'll see, okay. So, one thing that I've been thinking about, hey, I just showered, by the way, uh, and y'all are gonna hate it, but I'm probably gonna do it no matter what, because I'm actually, like, I'm really excited about doing it, so it's hard to not convince me of doing things when I'm excited about them. So, I want to redo Purgatory Book 1. Um, basically, I am not really proud of Purgatory because it's old, the art is old, and I made a lot of, like, really bad, like, art decisions, and, like, I didn't know how comics worked back then, so I spent, like, tons of pages on things that didn't need to be spent on. Um, but in general, I want to be able to, like, sell Purgatory and, like, actually like it, you know what I mean? I don't want to, like, be ashamed of it. I, I, I want to be able to, like, enjoy the book. Um, so I was like, okay, what if I just, what if I just redid it, the first book, and drew it the way that I think would make the most sense and, like, not look ugly? Because so I was thinking to myself, okay, how many people have actually bought this book? 300? Maybe 400? That's not that many in the scheme of things if I'm going to, like, redo it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if I am going to be printing the second book, now would be the time if I'm ever going to be making these changes to do it right the fuck now. Um, so I'm really thinking about just, like, redoing it which is really stupid, but I'm I'm thinking I can manage it because if I keep up basically I would just have to like work on it while I'm working on these pages right now. But I'll show you the character designs that I'm thinking about for Simon specifically. Damien wouldn't really change that much because in the beginning his hair is stupid, but like I'm just gonna subdue the stupid. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like change it like slightly. Instead of his hair being like that weird pointy shape, it's just gonna be like long hair. That's all, like, it's, it's still gonna have that, like, sort of shape of the bangs, but that's about it. It's not, it's not gonna change that much. Um, but for Simon, his hair is gonna be a little different, and obviously, get rid of those godforsaken triangle glasses that I, that I don't like. Okay, so I'll show you. Y'all are gonna be so fucking mad, I just know it. You're gonna, like, scream at me in the comments, don't do it. But I just, I wanna be proud of my own work, and I feel like this is the only way, so hold on, let me... Let me go to purgatory shit, hold on. See, the weird thing is, is I actually sketched this a while ago. Uh, this Simon design a while ago. Um, and I always thought, like, ah, oh, if I ever redid purgatory, I would basically just make his hair short like this, so he could have the little foofs on the end, like this. Because in the actual comic, his hair was just sort of rounded off, because it was, like, a much more simpler style when I initially did it. And I would make his glasses kind of like those, not not quite like these, because these are his current glasses, but I would make them like way more square, like big nerd glasses. Um, so, I mean, I'm gonna do it. Like, you can't fucking stop me, is what I'm saying. And I'm really excited about it. And it sounds like it would be a lot of work to do this, but like, check this out. Okay, that's like actually a pretty good page, but like... Look at all of this wasted space here. Three, like, all, basically three panels there. Three panels. Like, the there's so many panels here where I could just, like, like, get rid of it. And like I said, I, what I, my camera battery died. So anyways, what I decided to do was, was yesterday I actually thumbnailed a tons of comic pages uh, for the second part of the book. But I also worked on this. So I guess I'll show you what I did. Uh... If you're not familiar with how the pages looked before, I will tell you some of the things I did. Okay, so, 
I started to move around the panel arrangements of the pages to see if I could like minimize the number of pages I would have to redraw while also like, you know, you know, fixing some things. Basically how I'm how I treated it is like if I'm going to redraw it, I'm gonna treat this like the thumbnail stage. So that's kind of what I was doing. And I was actually so surprised about like how horrible my compositions were before. Like some of these compositions are just were just so bad or I had like a really good page or like a page idea, but I would spend like the whole page on it. This was three pages in one. So I took three pages and put it into one page. Like, that's what I mean. Like, I wasted so much space before where it's like, when I redo it, I'm betting it will only be like, maybe 180 pages based off of like, all my edits. Because like, again, look at all the wasted and like, I don't know if you can tell just the differentials between like, my old pages and my new pages. They were so black. They were just so black. I'm gonna change that to be like, way less black, but... I mean, you can't stop me from editing it, so I mean, I'm just gonna do it. Because I want to feel proud of my own artwork, and I guess that's just what it's gonna have to be, but... Yeah, I haven't finished editing the rest of it. I've only gotten to, like, this far, but... Uh, and it's not a real edit. This is just, like, me trying to figure out the composition for these pages. Um, the real edit will be me redrawing it, but... Yeah. Uh, one thing I should say is I'll show you guys the... Um, some of the thumbnails I worked on. So uh, I did this, this. Hold on. Uh, fucking, fucking fresh. And this. So I did a lot of pages of thumbnails. Um, I want to do more tonight, but I'm trying to ink some of the the pages tonight. Ah, uh, but man, I don't know. For the first time in for the first time in forever, I'm actually excited. I'm actually excited because, like, I feel like this is the opportunity for me to, like, actually, like, be proud of my own work for once. So, yeah, I mean, it's stupid that I'm going to have to redraw these pages, but it's actually not going to take me that long because look at this. The composition's already there. All I have to do is just, like, make it not look like shit, which is, like, not that hard when it, the whole composition is there. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I sh mentioned this. This panel I thought was kind of cool such a wasted opportunity is I decided to like make him show him going down the ladder as opposed to wasting two whole pages two pages into one page right there um that's what I mean like I just I just I think I didn't understand that I didn't have to show literally every action when I first started making comics like there was literally a page where Simon took off a shirt and put his shirt back on before which I just threw that page away because that was such a wasted page but that's what I mean like I totally did not understand that you could just put multiple things into one panel because I was an idiot back then and didn't understand that you could do that um but yeah I, I like I'll show you guys my general idea for the redesigns. You kind of saw, I think I sort of had a panel up here that showed that of like Simon's stupid glasses that I, well, they're not like, I want to give him like these types of glasses, like big nerd glasses. That's kind of my poindexter glasses, if you will. That's what I want to give him. And Damien's hair will more or less be the same, just like less pointy and he won't have this bit right here. So, I mean, the, the changes aren't going to be that crazy. They'll still look like the characters, they'll just look less ugly. <laughs> and then I can finally, like, feel proud of myself for once, you know? I don't know. But I do think, like, they look so much more dynamic now that it's, like, edited. <laughs> like, wow, who knew? A little bit of editing. I mean, I would have to do this anyway. I'd have to edit it if I wanted to print it again, because I, I would have to, like, do um, the new font anyway. And since I'm already going to do the new lettering, might as well just draw it again. Um, it won't take me that long, trust me. So, yeah. But I'm going to show you guys the process of this, like, on my YouTube channel and explain, like, all the stuff that I did. Because I feel like that might be kind of helpful to people to, to show people, like, what you shouldn't do and what you should do. Or, like, what I think I fucked up on really bad. So I think that would be kind of be interesting, but I'm not going to work on this till I finish book two. So, yeah. 
just working on comic pages. Uh, it's been a few days since I've like actually vlogged anything, so I figured I would just update you guys with like my thoughts. I really am like worried about how much I should charge for the Kickstarter. Like, what what should the goal amount be? I feel like, um, I have no like audience who would want want it. You know what I mean? Like, like, cause to be quite honest with you, I. <laughs> I kind of really want a laser engraver. I've talked about this for so long. Um, and I feel like the Kickstarter would be a way for me to get a laser engraver. So I'm kind of just like, god damn it, should I... Uh, so I, I'm thinking about setting it to the price of what a la laser engraver would be. I know that's stupid as hell, but like... Because even, even if I got it, I would still have to pay for books and all that other stuff. But um, I'm just kind of like... I feel like maybe that should be the goal so I can get <laughs> get the fucking laser engraver. I want it so badly. I cannot even explain to you because I have so many plans for it. I've actually sketched out like a million plans. I don't want to show you the plans yet because uh you know, I don't want to like have it jinxed and somebody take my up oh, my cat moved. I don't want to have somebody like take my ideas. Not that anyone's going to be, but like one of the ideas I feel like is super uber cool. And, oh my god, these arms look horrible and I'm not even remotely trying right now. I will fix it in post. <laughs> um, he's supposed to be, like, jumping off right here onto the floor. Um, anyways, I don't want to, like, jinx it and I also don't want to give away all my ideas. But I have so many freaking ideas and I'm, I'm so excited about it because I, like, I know that it will be really cool once I have it. So I'm kind of just like, oh, it's just like, I just need that three fucking grand to get the fucking laser engraver. Basically, I'll give you guys like the, what, what my plans are for the laser engraver. I want to like sell charms to people so they can get them made through me. So more or less, I'm, I'm offering a service to people so they can have custom wood charms. Um... So that's kind of why I want the laser engraver, because it would be like a secondary business where I am offering a thing that isn't like my own artwork, rather it's a service, you know? Um, I've already actually designed like the logo that I, oh my god, this sounds like so bad that I like already planned these things even though I know it might not work out. This is like the very garbage logo, because I'm horrible at logos so I might fix it, but hold on, let me open them. I did it in Photoshop like a horrible demon instead of Illustrator. I, I'll probably go back and fix it in Illustrator. Like, you know, make it an actual um, vector. But let let it read the Photoshop file for a minute. But, um, yeah, I have so many ideas as to what to do. Because I could offer wooden charms and acrylic charms um, for a relatively low price. Um, so the price would be $65 for a hundred wooden charms. So it wouldn't include the, um, uh, the actual charm attachment part. So I guess it's not that great of a deal, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much a, I've looked everywhere and that would be like the best price to sell it at. And I would make a fairly decent profit off of it. And they would be fairly like large charms. Um, and I could also do smaller charms, like sell smaller ones for like earrings and stuff for people who wanted to make earrings and things like that. I don't know, man. It's really, it's like, I just keep thinking about how cool it's going to be. And I'm just like, Holly, I always do this. I get so excited about stuff and then it never happens. And then I get like depressed because like all my ideas can't happen. So I'm trying not to get excited about the laser engraver thing, but I'm kind of just like, whatever. Um... But yeah, I kind of want <laughs> want to set the Kickstarter at like three grand so that so I can get the laser engraver. <laughs> because I already did the math. This is how pathetic I am. This is like I do this all the time, and I'm sure you guys are so annoyed with me. But just just hear me out. It would take thirty orders of custom charms to pay for the laser engraver. Just thirty, just three zero. Which is like I make that now. I make thirty orders now. But I don't have three grand immediately, so you know what I mean? You feel me? You feel me, homie? But yeah, here's the um, logo, more or less. Um, 
I wanted to call it razor la laser because I'm edgy and I thought and I the shit I shit you not literally everything that had the word laser in it was already kind of taken by people so I was like razor laser has not been um taken plus it rhymes um and I was like sharp custom designs get it because it like looks sharp I don't know I thought that was cool that's the colored one and then this is like the black and white one um well and like a little bit of red uh but you can make that black and it looks really good but, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my idea. Um, <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't, like, get so excited about it, but I just see so many opportunities, because I've already designed plans and stuff. Like, I've, <laughs> my God, this sounds so bad. Like, I could make um, Copic cases, uh, watercolor tins with, like, custom inserts on the inside and etched tops. I could make so many things you have no idea and it's just kind of like it's been on the back of my mind for like so many months and now that I like I don't know it's just it just seems like such a good idea and it's like nobody has this nobody nobody's doing this so it's like it's just like calling my name and I feel like by putting this out into the universe somebody's just gonna go ahead and buy it because they're rich and like steal my ideas and it just oh I don't know I just I want it so very badly y'all so I'm I'm thinking about setting it to three thousand dollars but I'm scared it's not gonna happen because like I did the math for purgatory copies I don't know if I have that many people who like me anymore, so I'm like, oh, with all that drama that went down, I'm like, I'll, I'll like, never get it funded at three grand. That's a lot of monies. But it is two books that, at the same time, so I'm not sure. Because I don't, I don't know how many copies, like, I would have to sell for that to work. I haven't done the math on the copies for Purgatory, but I don't fucking know, but, yeah... That's what I've been thinking about and wasting my time on. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I posted new purg purgatory pages, so if you guys want to go see that, um, it should be up there. Sorry this vlog is, like, boring as hell. I'm just, I'm working so much on these pages. I do five pages a day right now. Um, and it's going to be like that till the end of March, and then I'll finish purgatory. Um, and that's the entirety of purgatory. I'm almost done with the second book. So, like, y'all... Y'all, like, I have thumbnailed almost the entire, like, the, the the rest of the book, so, like, I know exactly how much I have to do, so it makes it easier for me to, like, actually do it, but, but yeah, homies, that's kind of my thoughts. I know it's stupid and, like, probably not gonna happen, so I've jinxed myself, but, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about lately.